Hello, hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Tracy. Coming right back to share another word with you guys. Listen, I thought this word was going to be for tomorrow, but um, the Lord was letting me know it's a right now word too. So I'm like, I had to spruce myself back up and, um, and just get this word out right quick. I'm going to try to make it quick and not be before you too long. I'm going to do my best to respond to all the comments so you guys forgive me in advance if i do not get to them okay but i did read them and um, i'm still trying to i'm still going to get some tea and um you know just kind of keep resting thank you so much you guys for the prayers i love you guys so much <coughs> excuse me i love you guys so much and i am grateful i receive my healing i receive healing for my family as well and so, um, thank you. My daughter says thank you as well. Thank you guys so much. She is the baby, the last one. So, um, and she loves the Lord. And I, I really uh, thank God for her walk. She has a testimony of her own. And one day you'll get to hear her testimony and how um, God saved her. And yeah, I'll let that be for another time. So let's get into the word. So I have, I've been seeing the number 313 for um, a long time now for a good while now. And I was just saying, Lord, what is it? You know, what, um, what are you saying to me? And I wasn't really getting it. And, you know, I've seen it on license plates, on the clock, even on this box, you know, um, I've just seen them quite a few places, views. It doesn't matter. I've just been seeing the number 313. And like I said, it's been, it's been a while now and I could not figure out what the Lord was saying to me. Okay, and um, of course I looked in the Strong's uh, Concordance, but not everything is going to be in the Strong's Concordance. The Lord may be referring you, um, having you go to a page number, maybe in your Bible or, you know what I'm saying? It could be Strong's as well or um, a scripture. And so this is indeed a scripture and it just took a while for me to get it. But God's timing is perfect. Okay, God's timing is perfect. So as I looked at scriptures, um waiting for the Holy Spirit to lead me to the right one. The one that stuck out to me and that agreed with in my spirit was Philippians 3 and 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. And right after I read that scripture, I knew in my spirit that was the one. And I says, okay, Holy Spirit. And listen, you guys, um, after I found the scripture and, and agreed with me, I knew it was the one. I look up at my phone because it caught my attention. The time was 620. Now in the Strong's Concordance, 620 means leave behind. And that was just right away confirmation. So I'm like, okay, Lord, I know that you are speaking. But the Lord has been dealing with me about making sure that I'm leaving the past in the past. I'm moving on to new things now. And my past has no place in my future right? You guys know what I'm saying? Um, and so it, it was just so amazing. God never ceases to um, blow my mind with that. So 620, I'm like, okay, it was 620. That was last night, last night, you know, in the evening. So God is reminding us um, and needs us to leave the old behind, okay? As he's ushering us into this new, your new life, okay? It starts now. God is moving all of this old stuff out of the way, Amen. Amen. So let go of the past. The past hurts, the disappointments. I should have done this. I could have done that. It's okay. Nothing is wasted in your life. God is using everything. Okay. So um, don't worry about the apology, uh, the um, apology you felt you should have got. Listen, you may never get it and you have to be okay with that. Holy Spirit will help you. Invite him into that place. All right. And forgive and move on. Now, listen, I understand that if you have forgiveness, some things are hard. OK, but God is there. Take it to him in prayer. Let him know. Father, daddy, Abba, Papa. OK, I need help forgiving this person. They hurt me deeply. Help me and God will help you. Holy Spirit will help you. I'm telling you what I know. OK, he will help you. Let's stop dwelling also on the past that we that that. um the life that we left behind, you know, before you went into isolation, you know, before you went into the wilderness. All right. You may think it was better then. it's hard now. And yeah, it, it was hard. Wilderness and isolation, hard. Ain't no sense in lying about that. 
Okay. But listen, what God is doing now, what he has for us now does not compare to the old stuff. It doesn't matter what you had to sell. It doesn't matter what you had to give away. As I shared before, I had to give everything away. All I had left was what fit in my car. And that's it. Everything had to go. And the sofa you see behind me is the sofa I sleep on often. Okay, but God is still a good God. Okay, his promises are real. And I also still keep seeing the number 320. We know that Ephesians 3 and 20. Okay, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Right, we cannot keep looking back thinking we are going to get what's ahead of us. All right, we cannot do it. Um, Genesis 9 and 26, it says, but Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. I don't know why she looked back. I don't remember reading in the Bible where it says that. I just know that God told them not to look back. And she looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt. Let us not look back longing for things of the past that they're not going to do us any good longing for them. They're, they are gone now and it's time to release and let them go. God has great things for us. Okay, amazing things for us. His promises are absolutely amazing. Nothing can compare to what God is going to do. When God replaces, look, he replaces, okay? Better than anything you can think or imagine. And um, so, yes, so God has great things in store for you. There is nothing in your past that's worth going back to. Nothing. You don't need nothing back there. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Amen. This is the word of God. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. It says, forget the former things. Okay. Do not dwell on the past. It, see, I am doing a new thing. Then it says, do you not perceive it? We should be able to see that God is doing a new thing. Amen. He's doing a new thing. I also keep seeing the num I mean, the uh, color yellow. It's standing out a lot, a lot. And, um, and my sister had a dream. And I know she doesn't mind me sharing. So I'm sharing. I meant to ask her, but I know she doesn't mind me sharing. Just this little part. That every room in the house had yellow carpet. And when she shared the dream with me, I heard the Holy Spirit letting me know newness. It's just newness. Everything is new. God is doing something new. Um, yellow is so bright. It's so vibrant. It's joyful. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it says spring, right? The color yellow. So God is doing a new thing. God is telling us to stop looking back. There is nothing in your past. What God has for us is greater and better than what was. Amen. And do you not perceive it once again? And I have that written down somewhere where the Lord is like, do you not perceive what I'm doing, Tracy? I am doing something new in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know that I have seen confirmation after confirmation. I believe you have too. It's been talked about. The newness, what God is doing is new. Letting us know that our best life is before us and not behind us. There is nothing back there. It's all in front of you. All right. So whatever it is, let it go. Nothing compares to what God has for us. All right. It's not in my past. It's not in your past, but it is in our future. All right. That is for somebody. New life. God is doing a new thing. Excuse me. God is doing a new thing. So whatever it is that you're looking back, a shoulda, woulda, coulda, or whatever, let it go. You have to release it. Okay, stop dwelling on those fun times. You know what I'm saying? It was better then. We're looking forward now. God has great and mighty things in store for us. So I have to get this word out right now. God was letting me know this is a right now word. Get right back on camera and deliver the word. So that is what I'm doing. So that's the word, you guys. Um... I pray that you bless it blessed you. It blessed me. I needed the reminder. You know, I wasn't really looking back longing. I was just thinking about some things, you know. I don't want that stuff. Um, but I still have to be careful and make sure that I am completely focused on what's ahead of me and not behind me. Amen. Listen, I love you guys so much. If you're new in Christ, enjoy your new life with him. Sweetheart, it is the best decision that you could ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. 
If by chance you have fallen away and you're just now coming back, check it out. The most important thing is that you're back now, okay? Enjoy your renewed life with Christ. It is the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. May the spirit of the living God, that is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, rest upon you and your family. You all be blessed. I love you so much. And until next time, remember, stop looking back, okay? Oh, and Jesus loves you so much more. All right, now, until next time, no more looking back. Let's look forward to the new. God has new and great things in store for us. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.